from WDSU. We continue to follow breaking news right now. New Orleans Police Superintendent Ronald Surpass is leaving his post and now taking a job in Virginia. You can see them walking in right now, live on your screen. Yeah, the news conference is scheduled momentarily here, where you can see city leaders and the police officers uh, and staff members from the New Orleans Police Department uh, going to take their positions here. We understand, according to the WDSU I team, that he is going to take a position as director of International Association of Chiefs of Police uh, in Alexandria, Virginia. Yeah, it's a, a post or a position rather that uh, isn't too too difficult for him. He's actually been with that organization for quite some time as the vice president. Um, so he is pretty, uh, he's been with that organization for quite some time. Yeah, and according to analysts, uh, the morale of the police department and especially the off-duty detail um, and the consent decree, lots of issues have been percolating in the department for a while. Community leaders also talking about this as well. And uh, this morning we've been getting word that he is going to make an announcement. There's Mayor Mitch Landry stepping up to the podium and there's Ronald Surpass uh, going up to the podium right now to make an announcement. Talk about this. Let's take a listen right now. Good morning. After more than 34 years of public service and 13 years as chief of three different police departments, I'm announcing my retirement from the New Orleans Police Department today and from public service. I'm proud to have served in the NOPD a total of 25 years and have been the chief of this department. The first member of my family joined the New Orleans Police Department in 1914, and those are some long years to fill. After Mayor Landrieu was reelected, we both recognized that the time would come after my 34 years of service and my decision to retire in 2014 that we would need to pass the reins of leadership on to the next generation. And that is something I take very serious and great pride in. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve as the police chief these last four years. Together, Mayor Landrieu and I and the brave men and women of this police department have laid a strong foundation for the future, a future that will be good for the people of New Orleans and the men and women of the New Orleans Police Department. Over the last several months, a professional opportunity that will allow me to contribute, continue to contribute to my life's work has become available. I will remain a proud resident of the city of New Orleans with me and my family. I will be saying later on this week what those future opportunities for me will be. But today, today is a day about the future of the New Orleans Police Department. In the last four years, we've made great strides towards creating one of the best police forces in the nation. I want to pause for a minute and have us all remember Officer Rodney Thomas and Officer John Passero. Police work is dangerous. There is no doubt about that. Some suffer, and some suffer so much more. When Mayor Landrieu took office, the NOPD had clearly come apart. Between 2005 and 2010, the train had come off the tracks. When I became chief, I knew I had my work cut out for me. But with the support of this mayor, who I have enjoyed working with every single day, this council, the prior council, and the community at large and the tough and honest cops, we've made a difference in rebuilding the police department. Just quick notes to think through over these last four years. We beefed up the homicide unit. We created a multi-agency gang unit. And we stand today now after 2013 and into this year with the lowest recorded numbers potentially historically in the city of New Orleans. We have made great headwork, headway with reducing murder, and that was our clarion call when we took office. I'm particularly proud of the first 48, where the nation can see, it's a television show, I'm sorry, the first 48, where the nation sees the officers and detectives and the staff as we work to solve these terrible cases. We cleared a backlog of over 850 rape kits were sitting idly and collecting dust in the property rooms in 2010, giving women long-deserved justice that they needed for the assaults that they had been taken. We have also seen independent observers, long-time observers of the NOPD and district attorney's relationship who have reported recently that the working partnership between the district attorney and the New Orleans Police Department has never been better. And that is good for the people of New Orleans. We got serious about putting the right people in jail, using summonses in lieu of arrest and focusing our attention on dangerous, violent, repeat offenders so that our officers could be in your neighborhood more. We began to change the culture of the New Orleans Police Department for the first time ever on a first time allegation sustained of untruthfulness, you will be fired in the New Orleans Police Department. That is a cultural change that's important because proud men and women want to be around that. Most importantly, the mayor, 
the prior council and this council, we've invested in the police department. Where buildings were flooded from Katrina, we now have new police district stations. We now have over 200 new vehicles. We reinstituted a police promotion process for officers that had laid dormant since December of 2009. And in the last 18 months, with the support of the mayor and the chief administrative officer and Colonel Sneed, we have promoted more than 500 police officers who have received a 5% pay raise in each and every one of those promotions. We provided a sergeant's examination and earned sergeant's promotions. We have a lieutenant's examination on way. That helps us to do the two most important things we confront today recruit and retain our valuable officers. When I became chief, our crime lab was dead on arrival. We were incapable of doing anything real time. Our firearms backlog examination was multi years. Today, our firearms examiners work real time, solving those cases with us, helping us make a difference right away. We had to make dramatic changes in the Public Integrity Bureau. We embedded two FBI agents in our Public Integrity Bureau. And the ultimate, as we begin today and move into the future, is the use of body-worn cameras. The New Orleans Police Department is one of the first big cities in America and in the world to embrace body-worn cameras. This is a new technology. We're still getting used to it. But in the long run, it is a game changer, and it will benefit us all for the years to come. Even though we have faced hard times, the men and women of this department never let the city down. Time after time, major event after major event, Super Bowl, Mardi Gras, Final Four, BCS Championship, the men and women of the New Orleans Police Department proved there are none better on the planet at managing large crowd control and helping a city host the most major sporting events that our nation and world can see. We have laid the groundwork. Our leadership is committed. I'm grateful to my family. Thank you.